So now that we've created our objects, Bob and Mike, in IntelliJ, we can actually print them to the console to see how they actually work. So in order to do that, we will right click, select Run Person Tester. And you can see from here, we've printed out the two objects. Bob, location 111 Utopia, work as engineer, and Mike, location 2234 Jaguar, and work as teacher. One of the nice things we can do with IntelliJ is we can actually control click back to our different objects that we're actually instantiating, and we can see how they're defined as well. And here you can see our person object in code. We have our instance variables. Here we have our constructor. And then here we have our method eat. I went ahead and added accessor and mutator methods so we could actually get the variables and change them later if we wanted to. One other important distinction I want to make is this idea of overriding the two-string method. It is important to override the two-string method if you just want to print out an object and have it provide additional meaning about what that object looks like. For example, if we didn't do this, and we printed them out, we would just get some, look like almost random type numbering with each of the object. So if we want to actually print them out where they actually have meaning, we always want to make sure that we override our two string methods.